On this, they agree. Our nation's heroes deserve a special place of honor when laid to rest. But that's doing little to stop a fight to block a proposed veteran cemetery in South Barrington. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas is live tonight in South Barrington. Roseanne. Well, Erica, time's running out to weigh in. Public comment ends on Monday. The Nat and while the National Cemetery Association says it's conducted a comprehensive years long search, well, the mayor here in South Barrington says the village was left out of that process and residents are fuming. I'm the granddaughter of a World War II veteran. Residents in this South Barrington neighborhood say they support a new national cemetery for military veterans, but this 15 acre plot is too close to home. It would be three to seven rifles being shot three to five times per day, right within the visit, like literally just feet from our homes. Navraz Basadi says the area off Montank and Freeman Roads is already busy with more development in the area planned. The noise, the amount of thoroughfare, and then you're going to be trying to hold funerals on this parcel, it does not make sense. But this is where the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs is proposing a new cemetery. An artist rendering shows the stone walls that would hold cremated remains, up to 50,000 of them. This first public hearing on the plan earlier this month turned emotional. It's very hard to live through what we've lived through and still serve a nation that today does not welcome or respect soldiers. I don't think it's fair. You know, I went in the military to serve this country, to serve and protect. I would like to protect my home, too. The Army has been this veteran, who also happens to be a funeral director, talked to us via FaceTime. He says for veterans' families in northern Illinois, Abraham Lincoln Cemetery in Elwood is the closest option. That's a two-hour ride south to go visit your loved one. You can see the children playing. Families are frequently forced to take a pass, denying a veteran what he has earned. Now, not only is Elwood at least an hour and a half from here, but Rock Island National Cemetery is even farther. And Fort Sheridan has very specific criteria as to which veterans can be buried there. So the question tonight is, is where is the best spot for a new cemetery? Live in South Barrington, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Erica. Thank you, Roseanne.